Hey everyone, it's Game Through Pulp, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at my top 5 favorite features from the Minecraft 1.20 update. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. Starting at number 5, we have the cherry wood. Uh, cherry wood is obviously a new tree that's being added to Minecraft, and with that comes a number of new blocks and a new biome. We're gonna my uh, pick for number five is specifically only the wood that's associated with it. As a primarily creative Minecraft builder, anytime there's a bunch of new blocks added, you know that's going to be a big deal for me. And with uh, the cherry related blocks, so cherry leaves, cherry log, cherry plank, and of course the strip cherry log as well, the player gets a whole new palette uh, to build with. A, a pink palette that includes planks and stairs uh, and that's not something that we've really had before so i'm excited to see what players do to utilize these new blocks and i'm really excited to see how uh in the next weeks and months new builds coming out from creators in the community that are obviously uh, really really cool looking coming in at number four we have the camel the camel is a new passive mob that's found in desert villages and it can be saddled and uh, ridden on by two people at once which is a pretty cool feature uh, the, and the camel is tall enough that riders cannot be reached from the ground by harmful mobs, so that's a another huge plus as well. And anytime there's a new mob added to the game, I'm obviously a big fan of that. Um, they're bred using cactus, which is kind of interesting, and uh, that's also how they're tamed so that the player can ride on them. And uh, that's basically it with the camel. I really like the animations of them, and, and I think that Minecraft did a good job implementing them into the game. I, I would have liked to see some sort of ability to add uh, chests or something, which is why that's not higher on the list, but overall a really cool mob with great animations and I can't wait to uh, use it in the game. Coming in at number three on my list is bamboo blocks, not the bamboo shoots, because uh, those have obviously added before. Uh, bamboo blocks, which can be made by harvesting bamboo, uh, add a whole new, again, whole new palette for players to build with. Um, and the reason that this block is ultimately ranked higher than the cherry wood is because I think this block blends a little bit better with some other blocks that are already in the game. Things like sandstone, uh, dark oak, or spruce planks blend really well with this and it can be combined to make some really unique buildings. And I also just like the texture more. I think it's a cool block. It works well with the bamboo shoots and also with the pandas. If you watched my YouTube short and if you're watching on that over the screen right now, you see the pandas connected with the bamboo, it just feels right. And if you followed the channel for a while, you know I have an affection for those clumsy panda bears. So anything that makes their existence more enjoyable in Minecraft is something that I will enjoy as well. So number two is, sorry, number three is bamboo blocks. Coming in at number two, we have signs and everything that's been updated with them in 1.20, which obviously the main feature being hanging signs, which is a huge addition uh, to the game, adding uh, three different ways that signs can be, be hung up. Uh, but also not to be uh, forgotten is the fact that you can now write on both sides of the sign and you can put uh, wax on the signs to make it so that they can't be added dead anymore. Overall, a relatively minor update and the overarching view of the game but i think that it's a, a pretty big quality of life update for people who really focus on decorating and building uh arch like building buildings and building like towns and things like that i think this is a, an update that will make a big difference to them and, and i'm one of those people which is why i think it will make a big difference to me as well and i'm excited to see how these signs are utilized for all sorts of different things um uh, both from a uh, like a adventure map perspective but also from a building perspective as well and last but not least at number one we have i think everyone's favorite mob the sniffer the sniffer is another passive mob and it doesn't spawn naturally which is quite an interesting uh, feature of the mob in order to have sniffers on your map you need to find them through the archaeology update uh, by hatching sniffer eggs that can be located by looking through jungle or uh, not jungle temples looking through the underwater temples that uh, are located throughout the map uh, once you get a sniffer egg you know, it can be hatched and the sniffer explores the map until uh, it finds something it likes to sniff and it pulls out of the ground either torch flower seeds or a pitcher pod both of which are prehistoric plants that uh, can be used in your game so it's a, a pretty cool mob. I, I really like it. I like how derpy it is. I like the animations. Both the mobs at 1.20 have really awesome animations. Um, and they can be bred with torch flower seeds, uh, which is how you can get a baby sniffer called the snifflet. 
and that's basically everything there is with the sniffer but i, I can't help i hope i hope this is an, a new trend for mobs going forward uh with the the animations because both the camel and the sniffer have really really good animations so uh overall pretty excited about this update they added some really good stuff some great mobs and uh i'm looking forward to sort of testing it all out in the uh weeks ahead that is everything if you enjoyed this video uh, I guess firstly, let me know what you think about my countdown or my ranking of the top five features. If you have different fe things that you think should be in the top five, be sure to let me know in the comments. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy and you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you're a returning viewer and you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and share the channel with your friends. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Game Fruit Pulp, and I'll catch you guys all next time. Have a good one.